Yes, it is. Angels Baseball here, guys. 2002 World Series. Right back at you here. This is a new series I'm going to be doing actually for you guys. Um, you guys can already saw on the um, uh, probably the play.com or the, I guess you say, Delphi forums that I will be playing here uh, the World Series here. It's pretty exciting, actually. I'm very excited for it here. Um, <clears throat> but um, I actually wanted to. Uh, do a little bit of a walkthrough here or playthrough of the 2002 World Series because it was actually the year that I actually attended the World Series uh, as a kid. Um, that was actually one of my games. I think we went to the games 1, 3, and 7 uh, back in Angels uh, Stadium. So it was fantastic. I remember staying on right field line and uh, getting all the great balls and stuff like that. It was a really exciting time here as a kid. Absolutely one of the greatest experiences of my life. Uh, seeing the, the last catch there made by Darren Erstad. Uh, was fantastic there but nonetheless guys I want to get you guys right over to the field here so you guys can watch as we play of course the Los or not the Los Angeles the Anaheim Angels versus San Francisco Giants now this year of course well it was a year where Dar uh, David Eckstein came in Darren Erstad Tim Salmon Garrett Anderson Troy Gloss Brad Fulmer at DH Scott Spigio uh, Benji Molina and Adam Kennedy uh, were leading off for the Angels and then we have for the Giants here who are a great team, absolutely a phenomenal hitting. There's a lot of runs scored in this uh, series here. Kenny Lofton leading off, Rich Aurelia, Jeff Kent, Barry Bonds, of course, ben uh, Benito Santiago, Reggie Sanders, JT Snow, uh, David Bell, and then uh, to is it Tsuyoshi uh, Shingo? Yep, I think that's pretty much about it there for us. So I want to bring you guys down to the field here, guys, so you guys can watch as we, of course, play for the first pitch with the ball. It's going to be Kenny Lofton. Okay, so first pitch here, Kenny Lofton here at bat. All right. Now, uh, just as a heads up here, the be the players who are uh, hot today here. So for the Angels, it was Garrett Anderson hot and Brad Fulmer cold, and they are in harmony. Uh, the Giants, um, Barry Bonds is hot, and uh, Shinjo is uh, cold. Uh, and then, of course, uh, they're going to be semi-harmonic. Um, and I say, of course, uh, not really sure why, but uh, I actually rolled the dice, and they weren't actually prepared fully, but they are semi-prepared here. Um, and then Kenny Lofton, I got uh, news from the team trainer that uh, he actually was um, definitely ready to go here uh, for the Giants. So he is actually going to be, till further notice, going to be hot. So good to note there for us. I'm going to toss on that. Do not disturb there for us, and we'll be ready to go here. Throw in first pitch. Let's see what happens. Okay, so 2-3-3. Three, three. Okay, so 2-3-3 three, three here it goes for is the pitcher an ace. Well, this pitcher today is going to be Jared Washburn, okay? And the pitcher for the uh, Giants is going to be Jason Smith, Schmidt, okay? So ace or star, Jared Washburn was a star. Uh, so it looks like it's going to round out to shortstop there. Round out David Eckstein and Scott Spezio. Okay, Rich Aurelia up to bat here. Okay, 235. 235 says wild pitcher. Nope, eager batter. He's semi eager. Let's see what the decider die says. He was. So that's going to be a single, th uh, a single through shortstop. Now he isn't a whiffer, so it will be a single through the shortstop there. So a nice, uh, let's say, hard ground ball single through the shortstop to Garrett Anderson there. That's going to be Rich really on base there for the first hit of the World Series in 2002. Of course, we're playing in uh, uh, in Anaheim here with Jeff Kent coming up the bat here with one man on. Okay, so that's 2-3-5 again. Wow, 2-3-5, wild pitcher, nope, eager batter. He is semi-eager, um, but decided I says no, so it's going to be a ground out to second base there. Now, he isn't patient, so that's not going to help him out there. So with the man on uh, first, that's going to be a double play. So ground out, so ball and play, ground ball, batter out. So double play, so that will be end the inning there. Second base, X-9 to Scott Spezio, and that will end the inning there, bringing up Barry Bonds in the next one. Now the first at bat here for the Angels is going to be David Eckstein. The X Factor as they call them here. Fantastic player. Uh, really got off the bench fast there. So 2-2-3. Two, 2-2-3 two, three. Two, two, three, wild pitcher. Jason Schmidt is not a wild pitcher. Uh, slugger or utility. He is neither of those. So it looks like he's going to single to left field there. Ground ball. Single to left field. 
So Barry Bonds there. David Eckstein's going to get on base there. So Darren Erstad coming up to bat. Okay, so that's a 566. Six. So 566 six says wild pitcher. Nope, good eye. He does not. That's going to be a strikeout, and that's going to bring up the baseball right now chart here. So let's see what happens here for the baseball right now. Okay, one, oh, why did I roll two dice or three dice here? Let me try that again here. I gotta make sure I get the good uh, dice here. So that's gonna be five, six. So five, six says hot pitcher. Well, he is because he um, did have a, um, he's considered semi-hot uh, because of the fact that he had a strikeout. Uh, decided I says yes to that. So shows off best stuff, retire side, alternating ground outs and shallow fly outs. So it's gonna be a ground out here. So ground ball. Batter out, batter out, so ground out. We're gonna say Jeff Kent, JT Snow, and then it's gonna be a uh, shallow fly out, so pop fly out, and he's a lefty, so uh, Gator Anderson's gonna hit to Reggie Sanders there, and I'll retire the side there. End of the inning there. And we're gonna go back there for us to Barry Bonds. Now Barry Bonds, during this series was amazing, which is why he's hot today. Um, he, I think, had four home runs, I believe, in the series alone. So just think about it. In seven games, in the most tense time period, he actually hit four home runs. So let's see if he can have that same streak here. I think he actually hit two games in a row, two in a row, and then he had like uh, two in a row after that. But nonetheless, batter up here. So one, two, six. Uh, one, two, six. Is he f pitcher fresh? He is. So that's going to be a line out to second base there. So they're going to get Barry Bonds batting out there to Adam Kennedy. So definitely dodge the bullet there. Anytime his card comes up, absolutely dodge the bullet when, when he comes up there. So, okay. So four, four, six. So 446 here for Benito Santiago, uh, 446 star pitcher he is. So it's going to be a ground out to second base. Ground ball, batter out, Adam Kennedy, Scott Spezio. Now this was a high scoring um, affair during uh, this series. Um, a lot of the games were 9, 10 runs per each side. So like uh, almost like 20 runs per team per game, which is fantastic. So we'll see if that actually is recreated here. Um, definitely thanks to Keith for allowing me to be able to continue to do all these great things and be able to do a great series here for us. So 1-1-3. One, 1-1-3 one, three. One, one, three is the pitcher and ace. He is not a slugging batter. He is not. So that's going to be a single to center field there. Um, now, sad sack or home run king strikes out. Now, he is a semi. Does say that it's going to be a, he is a uh, home run king this time considered. So it will be a strikeout, actually. Uh, so that'll end the inning there with Reggie Sanders striking out. So, bottom of the second here, Troy Gloss coming up to bat here. Young gun Troy Gloss coming out fresh out of UCLA. 556. Five, Let's check that out. So 556 five, is the pitcher an ace. He is not. Uh, sad sack batter. He isn't there. So that's going to be a double to right field there. So let's play uh, line drive and double to right field. Um, now is he uh, active? He is not. So he's going to stay on the double there. So stand up double with Brad Fulmer, the DH here, coming up to bat here. Anaheim, 126. So a one two six says, is the pitcher fresh? He is. Uh, so line out to second base. Now because it's a line drive, he's gonna be actually get tagged out. So it's gonna be a line out double play because Jeff Kent's gonna tag him out. Uh, Troy Gloss is gonna get caught off base there. And uh, that'll be a double play with Brad Fulmer attack, um, getting out there as well. So that's two away there. And that's an advanced rule you guys can see when you guys play. That's an advanced rule that you can play there. So one one three. 113 ace pitcher he is not slugger he is semi and it looks like yes he is so that's gonna be a double to left field there now you could of course see that there's like the little thunderbolt there now the thunderbolt refers to the home run legend scott spezio is just not a home run legend so that's just a double to uh left field there so a double to left field with barry bonds picking it up there now benji molina the catcher is going to be coming up to bat here for his first time batting eighth of nine so two four five two four five one man on 
hero uh, batter. He is not. That's going to pop out to second base there. And that's going to bring up, I believe, the player experience chart here. Let's check out here what's going to happen. With JT Snow coming up to bat. Uh, fun fact, I actually lived in JT Snow's old home. We used to get random calls for him uh, when, when we moved in there, so that's kind of funny. We'd get JT Snow's random calls before he moved out, so uh, that's kind of interesting. So, <laughs> uh, fun fact, I didn't know him, we didn't know him at all, but uh, just a phone or an old house that he used to live in there, and uh, we used to get phone calls for him. So, 125. So, 125. Uh, I always do that, guys. I apologize. Let's redo that here. So roll it again. So that's me a 45 here on the player experience chart. So 45 prospect batter. Uh, the batter is not a prospect. He's an icon. So let's look over here. So it's me a hard to field infield grounder batter out at first. Active player uh, after batter stay safe. Well, he's not a uh, person there. So he's actually going to ground out um, at first there. And if he was a active runner he would absolutely have gotten it there but still out at first and we're going to say um for this one since he's a lefty we're going to say adam kennedy threw over to spezio and got him out there okay david bell here batting eighth here it's going to be the one coming up to bat here third baseman okay so one two five uh, one, two, five here. Struggler. Is the pitcher struggler? He is not. Patient batter. He is not. So that's going to be a ground out to third base. He's not a whiffer, but he's just going to ground out. Because if he was a whiffer, he would actually have struck out there. So Troy Gloss to Spezio is going to get him out there. And then we're going to bring up uh, um, to Soshi to, uh, Shinju, who's going to come up here. Uh, two, three, five. 235 says wild pitcher nope eager batter he is semi-eager so that's going to give him yes on that decider die which means it's going to be a single through shortstop he doesn't have the whiffer so he's not going to whiff there um so it's not going to change that strikeout so it's just going to be a straight up single straight through here i guess you'd say a line drive single or i guess yeah yeah single through shortstop there so we're going to go up to the top of the order here and Kenny Lofton will be up to bat here, the hot batter, with one man on. Okay, so one, one, three. Ace pitcher, he is not. Slugger, nope, doesn't have anything, which is really kind of weird. He actually doesn't have anything, uh, but nonetheless, he's going to single to center field there. Okay, so single to the center field. Line drive, single to center field there. And uh, let's see, runners advance. Uh, one base on one hit, so he's not going to actually move there too much there. So, uh, Rich Aurelia with two outs. Um, now, with two outs, any runner scores from second on any hit. Active runner scores, so nothing's going to actually happen here uh, on that play. So, Rich Aurelia is just going to come up to bat here. Giants have two men on and two away. One, two, four in the top of the third. Okay, one, two, four, one, two, four, control. Does the pitcher have control there? So Jared Washburn there, he does. So that's me a ground out to shortstop there, and then I'll actually end the inning there. So ground ball, batter out, X9 to Shinzo, or Spizio, how oh, I say Shinzo. Uh, so that's gonna ground him out and end the inning there for us. And it's gonna bring depth the bottom of the third. Okay, so Adam Kennedy up to bat here. Batting ninth, which is actually kind of contrary to my normal gameplay that I have for the Los Angeles Angels all-time franchise. He was doing really great on um, my all-time franchise. So let's see if that pushes over to the uh, World Series here. One two five. One two five says struggler. So is he a struggler? He is not um, patient. Uh, he is not patient. So it's gonna be a ground out to third base. So ground ball, batter out. Third base, Bell to JT Snow. We're going to go to the top of the order there. Let off by David Eckstein. Okay, David Eckstein here. Let's see what happens here. So, 113. 
Okay, let's look at Jason Schmidt. Is he an ace? He is not. Slugger. Uh, nope. Single to center field. Okay, so line drive, single to center field to Kenny Lofton. Now David Eckstein's on base, I think, for the second time there. I believe, actually. I'm not sure. I think he was on base last time, too. So let's bring it up here. Darren Erstad with one man on. And one out. Two, five, six. So 256 says pitcher struggler. Nope. Champion or patient. He is neither of those. That's going to be infield drama for the first time today here. So let's check it out here. So infield drama. One man on. So 4-5 here. So 4-5. Shortstop iron. Let's check that out. So Aurelia just got out here, I think. So let's see. Should be the last guy up there. So is he iron? Nope, he is not. He is just normal. So 4-5 here says... Um, bobbled ball, but on time throw to first batter out. So um, this play is going to be actually a hard ground ball, uh, batter out, out at first there. So really is going to bobble the ball there. JT Snow is going to catch it there. But that's going to move over Darren er, uh, Dar uh, uh, David Eckstein there to second base. Okay, so David Eckstein on second base with Tim Salmon, Kingfish coming up to bat here. So one five six. One five six whiffer batter. He's semi with that saying yes here. It's gonna be a strikeout. So that's gonna end the ending there for us. That's the end of the third, and that's gonna do up there Jeff Kent and Barry Bonds. So let's see what happens here with Barry Bonds coming up to bat here as he of course lined out to second base. I know you guys are all wondering whether or not he's gonna take over the game here, kind of like most of the Barry Bonds cards do uh, during uh, any of those great uh, replays here. Hey, so Jeff Kent, uh, looks like the pitch is going to be 1-3-4. A 1-3-4 looks like a gold catcher. So is a gold catcher? Um, Benji Molina, I believe, is actually. So let's check that just real quick here. So gold catcher is semi-gold, which the decided eye says yes to that. So that means he's going to be a strikeout. Now, it does say the uh, eye thing there. So if you have a good eye, he does not. So that will be a strikeout nonetheless there. So struck out there by Jared Washburn. So good job there. Let's bring up Barry Bonds here. Barry Bonds up the bat here. So 3-4-5. 3-4-5, iron catcher. He is not a uh, good eye. Uh, does he have a good eye? He does not have a good eye there. So 3-4-5 says a strikeout for there for the home run king, Barry Bonds. And that's going to bring us over to the baseball right now chart here to see if by chance Jared Washburn can capitalize against Benito Santiago. Okay, 1-5. So 1-5 says cold batter. Let's check it out. He'd have to have, I think, got struck out, right? Um, hmm, let's see here. Yep, if he struck out, he did not. He actually grounded out, uh, or he had a ground ball, so no. So is he a cold batter on a 1-5? He is not. So it's going to bat batter pounces on first pitch here, single through shortstop. So it's going to be a hard ground ball, single to Garrett Anderson there, and that will be a single there for uh, Benito Santiago. Okay, so Jared Weaver lets him on here with two outs here. Reggie Sanders up to bat. So 4-5-6 here. Four, five, six. Patient pitch. Is he a patient batter? He is not. So that's me a fly out to center field. Okay. So Darren Erstad there, and that will end the inning there for us with J.T. Snow coming up to bat next here. But Garrett Anderson's going to lead it off here. He was the cleanup batter here for the Angels, which is kind of different because you never think about Garrett Anderson anymore as a cleanup batter, just because of the fact that he always had uh, Vladimir Guerrero uh, behind him. So uh, five, six, six. So 5 six, 6 goes wild pitcher. Nope. Good eye. He does not. That's going to be a strikeout. So Gary Anderson struck out again there. Or I think I just struck out once, I suppose, maybe. And that will bring up Troy Gloss to the uh, baseball right now chart. Okay. So Jason Smith is looking for some good pitches here. 3-6. Three, 3-6. Six. Three, six, cold pitcher. He is not. So it's going to be a pop out to the catcher here. So pop fly. Batter out to Benito Santiago. Oops. There you go. And Troy Gloss is out there, bringing up the out number two. Brad Fulmer, Fulmer DHing here. It's going to be a 1 5 5. So, 1 5 5. Uh, is he a home run king? Um, let's see here. Home run king would be that. So, no, he is not. That's a fly out to uh, center field. So, ball play, fly ball, batter out. 
Oh man, that was the pitch that uh, definitely all the home run kings are looking for. Definitely a fastball wrap right top shelf there, or a curve ball, <laughs> I guess you'd say, wrap right top shelf as well. Get that nice little wood on there. Okay, top of the fifth here, guys. So all the pitchers are kind of semi-hot, uh, fresh here now at this point. Though there is no runs here at this point, so it's kind of interesting to see how the actual game is playing played right now. So 2-3-4. Two, so 2-3-4 uh, against JT Snow, the first baseman. Uh, runners on base? Nope. Hot batter? He is not. Because um, a hot batter would have to have, I guess, you know what? He's considered semi-hot if he had hit it in his last at bat. So let's look at it real quick. So he grounded out. So he's not he's not hot. So pop out to third base. Okay, ball in play. Pop fly. Batter out to third base. Troy Gloss. Okay, David Bell here. Okay, three four five three four five iron catcher. Uh, he is not an iron catcher. Benji Molina is very good. He's semi-gold. Uh, good eye. Does he have good eye? Nope. That's going to be a strike out there for Jared Washburn again there. And that's going to bring up again um, the baseball right now chart here. So a lot of right now plays here. It looks like a lot of emotional plays are happening here in the World Series. Uh, top of the uh, fifth with two outs, 1-5. All right, so it was a cold batter, so let's check it out. Um, he actually singled to left field, so he's not a cold batter. So batter pounces on pitch for single through short uh, shortstop, which is kind of, I think, exactly the same play he had the last time. So that's going to put Shinjo on, on the uh, field there. Now, is he a cold batter? I apologize. I think I made a mistake there. I'm going to actually back it up here because I, I did just catch myself thinking it. He's actually the the cold batter that I even played um, beginning of the game, right? I chose him as the cold batter, so he is a cold batter, and I apologize if that previous uh, gameplay changed it there. But 1-5 would mean cold batter, which is watches as third strike call catches corner. It's going to be a strikeout. So that will be actually the third strikeout there, and that will um, that'll bring up, let's see here, Spezio, Benji Molina, and Adam Kennedy as we, of course, go into the bottom of the fifth inning. Always got to keep your eyes out for gameplay rules like that. Uh, sometimes you forget them because you're writing things down and you don't actually look at those every second. With Scott Spigio coming up to bat, bottom of the fifth. Jason Schmidt on the mound. So it's going to be a 3-4-5. So 3-4-5 says iron catcher. Let's see. I don't think I actually checked uh, their catcher, Santiago. Uh, he is nothing. So he's just a normal so a normal catcher there, so 3-4-5, uh, iron catcher, nope, good eye, he does not have that, so that's going to be a strike out there for um, Jason Schmidt, and it's going to bring us over to the baseball right now chart, I think I've actually rolled those those same uh, dice a lot actually, so it's going to be a 3-6, so baseball right now says to us 3-6 is going to be a cold pitcher, now a cold pitcher he is not because he just struck out a batter, so that's going to be a pop out to the catcher there, Benedito Santiago. So for out number two, it's going to be a pop out to Santiago. And so Adam Kennedy is going to lead, uh, end up the lineup here, I guess you'd say. And he's batting ninth here. Okay, batting ninth. Adam Kennedy, 4 5 5 with two outs here. 4 5 5 is the pitcher flash. He is. That'll be a strikeout because he doesn't have a good eye there. So that'll be a strikeout, bring up a Lofton, Aurelia, and Jeff Kent for the Giants. So pitching duel it looks like here. And of course, since it is the top of the sixth, um, it will still be semi-fresh until the next inning. And if there's still a shutout, they can continue to pitch to batters um, as long as they don't have any um, uh, hits or, or I guess not hits, uh, runs. Uh, they'll still keep their fr uh, semi-freshness. So three, four, six for Kenny Lofton here. So is the batter eager? He is not. Base on balls, active steals. So let's check it out what happens here. So it looks like he got on base on balls. Now is he active? It definitely says he is with that decider die. So we're actually gonna have him uh, take a steal there. I'm not sure if he can actually stole, yep, there you go, stole base there. So looks like Aurelia is gonna come on here with no outs here. And it's gonna actually see a base on balls steal there. And we're gonna go to the team chemistry chart for the first time in this series. So World Series here could be decided right here, game one here at, um, it's supposed to be Edison Field, but we're playing at Signal Health Park, but it has similar uh, 
ratios, I guess you'd say. So it's kind of like a large, semi-big kind of thing there. So nonetheless, uh, one six is the roll. So batting team dissonance. Well, neither of them are. They're actually semi uh, semi harmonious and actually harmonious. So the batting team is not uh, dissonant. So let's see here. Uh, it looks like it's a base on balls there for the weight team there. So Rich Aurelia uh, will actually get on base there, base on balls. So that's two men on, on uh, two walks there by uh, Jared Washburn. So we're kind of have to think here with Jeff Kent coming up here, um, definitely may want to consider uh, uh, pitching change. So uh, we'll be checking that out here in a second here if that this continues. So one four five. So one four five. Let's see what happens here. Is the pitcher a struggler? Let's check out the last couple plays. So it looks like to me on the last couple plays here, he is walked and then walked. So he actually hasn't because he actually got somebody out last. So he's not a struggling pitcher just yet. So one four five says it's a ground down to first or third base. Now he's a righty, so that'll mean that he's hitting on this side or on this side. So it's going to be over to third base there. Now with two men on though. And lead off one there, so first and second. It's gonna be a double play, and the runner's gonna go to third base there. So um, we're gonna say ground ball, batter out, and double play. Troy Gloss to Adam Kennedy to Scott Spezio, and Aurelio will be out at second base there, but Kenny Lofton will be safe there with none other than Barry Bonds coming up to bat. Okay, Barry Bonds here hasn't had any hits today, struck out, I believe, and Lined out to second base there, looking for that first home run of the series here. <clears throat> two, three, four. Two, three, four says runners on base. It's going to be a plate drama. Let's check that out here. Okay, so plate drama here. So 36 here. Oh, oops. <laughs> looking at this here real quick. Uh, is the catcher iron? He is not. Catcher gathers in low sinking curveball. That's going to be a ball. And we're actually going to go right over to, um, well, we're going to go to the appropriate umpire chart here. So we're going to put in the ball there. And there's going to be a um, runner on third. So we're going to go over to that one real quick here. That's right here. Let's roll this again. Okay, so that's a 15. So 15 is a respected umpire at home. Well, if you look at Manny Hernandez, he is semi-respected, but it looks like the decider dice says not. So he is not respected right now here. So 1-5 here says, um, let's see here. Uh, umpires, uh, other umpires, ball one, batter still at bat. So it looks like here um, it's going to be a ball one there. So nothing actually changes there. So we're just going to go right back to the play here because uh, Manny Hernandez just kind of lets the ball sit there. Uh, even though it should have been a strike there if he was respected, he would have done that here. But nonetheless, with one ball, two outs, and Kenny Lofton up the bat here. So that's 2-2-4. Two, two, so 2-2-4 two, two, says pitching at home. He is. That's a pop out to shortstop. So it looks like Barry Bonds has gone 0 for 3 there, which is absolutely alternative to what actually happened there in the first game there. But nonetheless, there uh, looks like uh, Darren, David Eckstein is going to be coming up to bat here in the bottom of the sixth. All right, guys, before I roll these uh, dice here, I want to actually thank you guys very much for your support. Um, I have not ever felt this much support uh, from a hobby of mine, absolutely, in my life. And it's very exciting to have such a great community like you guys to be able to support uh, each other um, as we kind of make our videos and to be able to uh, kind of see gameplay and also enjoy other people uh, playing board games, kind of expanding out the universe uh, of what we, of course, like uh, sports replay uh, tabletop games. So I definitely appreciate your guys' support and, of course, patience as we, of course, go through these games. Um, I definitely appreciate it. So I want to just kind of send a thanks out to you, uh, all the viewers. Definitely, you guys are much appreciated. And I hope you guys continue to enjoy all my product here uh, as we kind of go through together. Um, I'm always willing to hear you guys' uh, ideas and commentary. So please, definitely in the comment box below, um, absolutely put in any information that you have or any ideas you have for a future series or anything you'd like to see. Uh, I am more than willing to help and, of course, ma uh, make uh, an opportunity for that. So with David Eckstein coming up to bat here, bottom of the sixth, let's check it out. So 366, 366 says, is he a pinch hitter? He is not, so that's me a fly out to center field. So fly ball, batter out, center field to Kenny Lofton there, underneath it. Then I'll get David Eckstein out. 
with Darren Erstad coming up to bat here. One out, two, four, six. Two, four, six says control pitcher. He is semi control. Diet Saturday says no. Eager or sad sack. He is eager. So that'd be a pop out to third base there. So pop out. Third base there to Bell. And Tim Salmon is going to be up to bat here. Two outs here, bottom of the sixth. So that's a one, four, five. So one, four, five. Struggler pitcher, he is not. Uh, so one, four, five says it's going to be a ground out to third base. So ground ball, uh, Tim Salmon, Kingfish is actually grounded out to David Bell to JT Snow. That's going to bring up Santiago, Sanders, and Snow here for the top of the seventh. Okay. So four five five, four five five says flash pitcher. He is semi flash with the yet decided I saying yes. That's me a strikeout. Uh, unfortunately, Benito had does or Benito does not have a uh, good eye, so it does not change that. I'll bring up Reggie Sanders. So five five six. So five five six says is the pitcher an ace? He is not. Sad sack. Nope. Reggie Sanders is not. That's me a double to right field there. So ball and play. Line drive. Double to right field. And uh, Reggie Sanders is active um, because he is semi-active. But then the Saturday says yes. So that's going to even score him here, or or at least steal base to get to third there on a stolen base. And I believe with that, I'm actually going to change out Jared Washburn for a uh, relief pitcher here to try to get us into the next inning. And that new pitcher will be Brendan Donnelly. Ace, flash, semi-control. So we'll see how he fares here in uh, the early going here of the top of the seventh here. Uh, try and see if he can clean up what Jared Washburn could not. But nonetheless, it was a pretty good outing there. A uh, solid outing, really, by uh, uh, Washburn there. But Brandon Donnelly, he needs to take the ball here from the mound and see if he can get through uh, the seventh, eighth, uh, and ninth batter here. So let's see here with JT Snow up the bat here. So... 226 first pitch from Donnelly here 226 will bring up here uh, batter hit by pitch oh no <laughs> oh goodness there so uh, uh, the decided I says yes he was hit by pitch there so definitely hit by pitch that will bring to JT snow to first base there so it looks like the nerves are a little bit shattered here for Donnelly here and uh, brings up David Bell the third baseman so 113 or 133 there so 133 says, is the batter a slugger? He is. Oh, goodness gracious, Donnelly. This is not the way we wanted to play here, guys. But it looks like there's a home run to center field there. And that'll be ball and play, fly ball, home run there for Do uh, for uh, David Bell. That'll be 3-0 to zero there with Donnelly on the mound there. And Shinjo will be uh, Shinjo coming up here, the cold batter. Um, I don't really want to keep Donnelly in too much more. Uh, I want to see if he can try to at least get uh, uh, this batter out here. Let up too many runs there, so basically just gave away the win there. Definitely blew the uh, blew the save there for him. So two three six. So a two three six there says double control. He does not have that pitcher batting. Nope, that's a base on balls. Uh, definitely might be time to pull Donnelly out here as we go across there. Um, one more batter here. I'm going to give him one more batter. Definitely deserves one more batter. So Kenny Lofton here. Let's see what happens here. With Kenny Lofton here. So 156. So 156 says, is the batter a whiffer? He is not. So that's outfield drama. Let's check this out real quick here. So outfield drama here for Kenny Lofton. So that's a 1-5. So 1-5, left fielder gold. Let's check out Garrett Anderson. I think Garrett Anderson is semi-gold, but in this instance, he is not. So 1-5 says he's gold. He's not. So batter laces single to left field there. So absolutely going to be a single to left field, and we're going to change out our pitcher for sure. Um, it looks like runners advance one base on hits. So, um, yeah, so it looks like, oh, goodness. So, yep, 
Looks like we're going to definitely have to make a pitcher change here. So Brandon Donnelly will be gone here. I definitely thought Brandon Donnelly would be the good guy, but he didn't even go through one of a, a not even a full inning here. He just gone through a couple of batters. So uh, definitely not the best stuff from Ben Donnelly. Our next pitcher will be Ben Weber. Uh, so semi ace, semi flash control. So we'll see how this can handle out here. Righty here for Anaheim coming on out. We'll change him out here as uh, Donnelly just got worked over there. So that's never good here for a pitcher to take that kind of beating there. So maybe we can use him in a different game here. But uh, unfortunately right now, we're really up here with two men on, one out. Uh, hopefully Ben can kind of calm himself down here and get these guys out. So 4-4-6. Four, four, so 4-4-6 four, four, says, um, and I'll put the guys back here so you can see them. 4-4-6 four, four, is the pitcher star. He is not sad sack utility or patient. So he is semi-utility. Uh, Utility. I decided I says no. So a sad sack utility patient. So it looks like a single to right field here, guys. So ball and play, line drive, single to right field, the Tim Salmon there. Um, now with this one, it looks like runners advance two bases on singles. So it's going to be Shinjo uh, scoring here on the last play there. And then Lofton will actually uh, take the next base here on last play. And then it says here, um, active steals. Now he's not active, he's actually stoic. So really it will not actually steal there, but he will get that RBI and it is 4-0. We're gonna go over to player experience chart here for um, Jeff Kent. So Jeff Kent up to bat here with two men on and one out. So one, three. Prospect pitcher, he is semi-prospect. It does say yes to that. So off target pitch, batter chop single through infield. My goodness, guys, I don't think I've ever seen such a bad uh, inning for sure. So right, he's going to hit over to Garrett Anderson. That's going to score uh, loft in there with a single one there. That'll be um, runners advance one base on hits, active score from there. Um, so yeah, nothing good there comes from it. And Barry Bonds comes up here to bat with two men on and one out, top of the seventh. Definitely a uh, key zone here for Weber to not have to worry about here trying to get him out here of course if you can so a one three five is going to be a uh, unusual result here so red one here so uh, red one black five balks and bogeys so let's check that out here and this little stat here so that's a three five so three five says broken bat champ or active hustles for single um, others out at first. So champ, so he's not active. He is a semi-champion. Decided I says yes. So he will hustle for a single there. So batter in play. Uh, we're going to say, uh, I guess you'd say ground ball, single. So Weber there is going to get the ball there. But unfortunately, Barry Bonds will somehow beat out a play there as I guess the infield would be super pushed back there waiting for a nice long ball there uh, for Barry Bonds and that will load the bases here uh, definitely need to see if they can by chance get these guys out here um, as it is now uh, looking like the Angels are getting a little out of hand at this point so one three five again that's gonna bring up another um, I think that's actually a 1-3, so that's going to be a black 3. That's going to be a memorable play in the field, an unusual event. So let's check it out. Okay, so 5-6. So a 5-6 says first base iron. So let's see if Scott Spezio is actually an iron uh, first baseman. I don't think he is. Nope, he is just normal. So he is not there. So it looks like out at first there. Um, so it looks like he is out at first there. Let's check that out here. So, batter ground out at first. It's got Spezio. Now, I'm not sure how these plays are going to be played out because, of course, um, with any of these memorable plays in the field, that usually means somebody's going to score there, right? Are they going to hold? I, I mean, they would have to, correct, right? Because they have to run because it is, of course, that. So, they'd be safe. So, I guess it would be... Um, Yeah, so I guess, yeah, it would score a run there, but it would be two outs there. So two outs. Uh, runner scored, though, so 6-0 to zero here. And the absolutely wheels have come off here in the seventh inning. This is the most I've ever seen scored in one inning for sure. Absolutely never seen this happen before, especially since I'm using three different pitchers at this point. Um, but they are not doing terrible uh, in the sense of just 
this is just great hitting at this point. Uh, the Giants have come to play here. So 1-4-6 here against Reggie Sanders. So 1-4-6. Flash pitcher. He is semi-flashed. Decided I says yes. And uh, looks like there's no good eye. So he will strike out uh, that batter and get out of that inning there. Oh my goodness, that was the worst inning I think Angels baseball has seen in a World Series. That's just an embarrassment, really. Let's see if the Angels can claw back their way back here from six down here in the bottom of the seventh. This would be a World Series miracle, really. So 2-5-6. So 2-5-6 says, Struggler, the pitcher is not. Champion or patient, he is neither of those. So that's infield drama. So infield drama, let's check it out here. So we roll the dice again. Okay, 1-4, so info drama, first baseman iron, well, there he is, so he's not iron there, so that's makes play, easy, ground out to first base there, so ground ball, batter out to first baseman there, and that will bring up the next batter there, as Schmidt will continue going through here, I'm going to show you real quick here the stats, just so you guys can see, batter's face is 22, so average is around 20 to 25. 526 sometimes um, he's doing great um, he hasn't thrown a lot of strikeouts as you guys can see right here he has only thrown five strikeouts that's not great but he hasn't let pretty much any runs go through so he's keeping himself very level and of course six runs in you can just let the pitching kind of go through and let him pitch through because that saves your bullpen for sure especially when you're playing a battle of attrition like the World Series here so Troy Gloss comes up to bat here that's me a 235. So a 235 is wild pitcher. Nope. Eager batter. He is not. That's a ground out to second base here. But he it does say is the batter patient. He is semi-patient with a decided eye saying yes. So he will actually draw the walk there. And uh, that'll get the batter or pitcher on there. And I think uh, if he can't get Brad Fulmer done, I'm actually gonna pull um, my uh, Jason Schmidt here. If you can get him out, I'll keep him in for one more batter there. Okay, so 345. 345 says Iron Catcher. I don't think, I think he's normal. Yeah, he's just, a, he's a regular. I've already checked that before. Uh, is he good eye? Uh, he does not have a good eye. That's me a strikeout. So we're going to keep Schmidt in here to see what happens here on this uh, baseball right now chart. So uh, baseball right now here to Scott Spezio with Troy Gloss on first base there. Uh, two five. So two five says is the batter hot? Now Scott Spezio the last time struck out, so he's absolutely not. He is for sure cold here. So it's me a liner down the baseline, fielded by the first baseman. Line out. So it's me a line out to uh, J T Snow there. So batter out. J T Snow is right there to gobble it up there, and that's going to end the inning there. Top of the eighth. So Ben Weber is going to take the mound again here, see if he can by chance get through the eighth inning here and bring on another pitcher there by chance to kind of end the inning there for us. Okay. So JT Snow up to bat here. 146. So 146 says the pitcher flash. He is because the decided eye says yes, and there's no good eye. That's going to be a strikeout there. So David Bell coming up to bat here. Ben Weber is definitely getting back to his normal ways here, but unfortunately giving up too many runs already. So 166 is a workman pitcher. He is not. With her batter, he is not. Ground out to third base. Okay, Troy Gloss, Scott Spezio. Okay, Shinjo's coming up to bat here. Okay, 126. So 126 here. Uh, says, is the pitcher fresh? Uh, he is semi-fresh here. Um, I don't think he's given up more than that many runs. He hasn't actually, I don't think. I think he's given up. Let me see here real quick. Stats, pitching. Uh, let's check it out. So runs. So runs, he's only given up one. Yeah, one run. So he's not actually uh, lost his freshness just yet. So is his freshness still there? He is semi-fresh with the decider I saying yes. So that's a line out to second base there. Line out to second base there. Adam Kennedy, that'll be the end of the eighth inning. And definitely want to thank Ben Weber here. We'll probably pull him out there. Uh, but we're going to bring up Benji Molina in the bottom of the eighth here. And uh, definitely going to probably want to pull out Jason Schmidt and say thank you for all the great work he's done. But we're going to bring in a new pitcher here to bring us into the uh, the home front there. And that new pitcher is going to be Jay Wittesick.
So Jay Wittesick here is going to come up to uh, pitch there. He's got a semi-ace, flash, and semi-control. We only need him for one inning there for San Francisco uh, because they're actually going to have uh, Rob Nen come up for his closing here and get that nice little close. Unless, of course, Jay is doing fantastic. So uh, let's change out the pitcher here and uh, check it out real quick here. So Wittesick. Okay. And let's see what happens with Benji Molina coming up to bat here. So batting eighth of ninth here, of course. So one foot one two five. So one two five says pitcher struggler. No, he's not. Patient batter. He is not. Ground out to third base. He does not have a whiffer, so he will just ground out to third base there. So David Bell, JT Snow. That's one away. Bottom of the eighth. Definitely looks like it's San Francisco's game to lose at this point with Adam Kennedy coming up to bat. So one two four. So one two four says pitcher got control. He does because the decided eye says yes. Ground out to shortstop. Shortstop, Aurelia, to JT Snow. There we go. David Eckstein, here he comes. Up to bat here. X Factor, maybe start off a little rally cap here. Need a little rally monkey action. So 113. 113, ace pitcher. He is semi ace with the yes decided eye saying yes there. So ground out to first base there. So ground ball, batter out to first base there. JT Snow. And it looks like we have. At least one more inning here of the first game here until it looks like the San Francisco Giants are going to take a 1-0 to lead in the World Series of 2002, I guess you'd say. So, uh, Weber, let's thank him definitely for his work here. He's not going to go any further. And uh, we'll bring up a new pitcher here for the uh, Anaheim Angels. All right, called the bullpen by Papa John's here, or Farmer John's, I guess you'd say, is Scott Shields. Ace, semi-flash. Let's see if he can start uh, step off the game here and uh, get this game uh, taken care of. At least get us through the ninth inning. No more bleeding here. Stop the hemorrhaging. So, 3-5-6. So, 3-5-6 says, is the pitcher same as the batter? Righty? Nope. Kenny Lofton's a lefty. Utility or sad sack? Nope. Single down? Uh, looks like uh, first base line there. So, a nice um, hard ground ball. Single down Right field, or right field line there, first base line there. So Kenny Lofton's on there with the first hit there. Rich really is going to come up to bat here. One man on, and then top of the ninth inning, 3-4-6. So a 3-4-6, eager batter. He is semi with a yes there, so it's going to be a fly out to center field. So batter out there, so fly ball, batter out to center fielder. Dan Erstad there. Jeff Kent coming up to bat here with Kenny Lofton on base here. Two three four. Let's check that out. So two three four says runners on base. Yes, there is infield drama. Is where we're going to go to, or is it play drama? Let's check it out. Yeah, play drama. There you go. Kind of figured that was something wrong there. So play drama. Two two. So two two there. So catcher gold. I don't think so. So I think. Well, actually, you know what? Yeah, he's semi uh, semi gold here. So let's check here real quick. Just make sure. Benji Molina, there he is, semi-gold with the decided eye saying yes. So he is, Benji Molina is going to be that. So 22 says, scrambles to snag foul ball, got it, foul out. So ball in play, pop fly, batter out there. This must be a pop fly foul out to Benji Molina there. That's going to be done there for us. All right, so Jeff Kent's out there. Uh-oh, brings up Barry Bonds here. So he is definitely done terribly here today. As you guys can see, he is uh, lined up at second base, struck out looking here, flied out to shortstop, and then singled uh, to the pitcher here of a broken bat. So uh, let's see if by chance he's going to get some action here, as you guys can already kind of tell here. So let's see here. Um, let's see what the action is going to be here. That's going to be a home run here for him. So 4-5-5, four, five, five, right? 4-5-5. Four, five, five. Says pitcher flash. He is semi flash. Decided I says yes, uh, but does he have a good eye? He does not. So that's gonna be a strikeout. So Barry Bonds has gone one for five, I think. Actually, um, definitely not the same Barry Bonds we know of here. Uh, but we're gonna see Darren Erstad come up to bat here against Jay Wittesick because Jay definitely did pretty well there in that first one there. So we'll save uh, Phil. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, Nen here. We're going to save Nen here uh, for the next game there to close because you don't definitely need a closer right now uh, with this team, the way they're playing here, especially since they have a 6-0 to lead over the Anaheim Angels. So Darren Erstad up to bat here. 
So we're going to see a 246. So 246 says, Pitcher got control. He does not because the decided I says he does not. Uh, eager or sad sack. He is eager, so it's going to be a pop out to third base there. Pop fly, batter out there to third base, David Bell. And looks like we're going to bring up Tim Sam in there. So one out here. 155. 155 says, uh, home run king. Let's see. He is not. He has the hero there. He is a slugger, but not a home run king. That's a fly out to center field. So definitely doesn't have the big wood this year here, but looks like the next batter and possibly the last batter will be the one that does have the big bat here, Garrett Anderson. So looks like the rally caps are on. The rally monkey is making noise here. So four five uh, four four six. So 446 says, is the pitcher a star? He is not. Sad sack, utility, or patient. He is neither of those. That's going to be a single to right field there. And it looks like the Angels are still in business here uh, to right field. And he is not an active, so he won't steal there. Uh, Troy Gloss is going to come up with the player experience chart. That young Troy Gloss here, third baseman, with one man on and two outs here in the bottom of the ninth. 2-5. So 2-5 here. Is he an icon batter? He is not. So it looks like he's going to line out here because he cannot handle the heat. And that, my friends, will end the first game here of the 2002 World Series here with the um, San Francisco Giants uh, looking that they actually took the first game there from the Angels easily 6-0 to off of a very horrible, horrible uh, pitching uh, outing by... Uh, one pitcher Donnelly. So I want to thank you guys here for checking it out here. Uh, we're going to look at the uh, scores here or the score table here in the recap here in a second. So I hope you guys can join me at the recap of game number one of the 2002 replay of the World Series between the uh, Anaheim Angels and the San Francisco Giants. All right, guys, welcome to the story recap here, I guess you'd say. The recap story here. So it looks like the Recap story says it's strong pitching lead San Francisco past Anaheim 6-0 in the 2002 World Series. Anaheim wasn't able to score a runoff of Jason Schmidt during his seven innings on the bump, and San Francisco took home the win 6-0. Schmidt allowed four hits, one walk, and struck out six. David Bell helped San Francisco pull ahead for the duration in the seventh inning after Reggie Sanders Bell came to the plate with the game scoreless in the seventh inning and homered, plating Reggie Sanders and JT Snow. Bell racked up three RBIs on one hit for San Francisco. So guys, definitely great to note here, as you guys can see the stats real quick here, um, for the Angels, just abysmal, really. Um, not hitting, I guess, otherwise, but if you see there, the hitting wasn't terrible. But look how many players we had that had no hits. If you see that here, the on-base percentage with no way, they didn't get on base at all. We had one, two, three, four, five. So Tim Salmon, Kennedy, Erstad, Molina, and Fulmer. None of them got on base. Um, definitely very, very sad there. Um, but if you look at the... Um, uh, if you look back at the stats for the game there, so if you look back here, view stats, um, you'll see that the really the big decider was actually with the San Francisco Giants. And look how many they had on base. Every single batter got on base. That's a stat that is absolutely telling. Folks, I cannot p point out better here. The stats are just so telling here. Every single batter got on base. Now, maybe they didn't get a hit, but they did get on base. So they took a walk. They got on base because of something else, but they were on base. That means every single batter got there. And so that put them into scoring positions. And that is absolutely phenomenal. As of course you saw the difference in pitchers. They took, we took four and they took two. So with this recap here, folks, it looks like the Giants here are six to zero winners in the first game. And I hope you guys enjoyed this here, folks, as I of course did. And welcome you guys back to the second game here as the Angels try to recap themselves and regroup as we get ready for game number two here at Edison Field with the World Series from 2002 Replay. I'll see you folks in the bleachers.